Hello, Kerry here. I'm going to be working in my uh, newest art journal. Uh, I'm going to be doing some jelly prints inside it. I'm also going to be doing some jelly prints onto some uh, tags that I have in my little tag book, which you may have seen before. The colour scheme I'm going for this time is going to be a colder colour scheme. I'm going to be using blues and greens and maybe a touch of yellow. So this colour is that I'm using now is Wedgwood Blue. It's a very pretty, almost grey blue, I love it. Oh, and I did measure this um, jelly plate and it's 5 by 7 inches. I think in the last two videos I said, I don't know what, quite what size it is. It might be 4 by 6 or it might be 5 by 7. It's actually 5 by 7. <laughs> so I'm just getting some more paint on. Didn't quite have enough which is unusual normally have too much and i'm going to be using stencils and some cutouts as resist sort of effect so i'm just going to start off by laying down some stencils i'm going to just pull some prints onto the tags to start with i think what i've got left i'm going to bob into my book at this stage it's just a case of building up layers and I'm going to speed up the video shortly because it's fairly lengthy. I was at it for quite a while. And it'll be far too long. It's a long video as it is. So for the jelly plate printing, I'll do it at high speed. And then I'll slow down again for when I finish the actual uh, double page spread in this journal. I shall be working on the journal, not the tags This in this video. The tags will come along in another video, I'm sure. Right, I'm using some scrap paper to uh, help me press down without getting paint all over my hands. And this uh, scrap paper in the end is very usable for collage and all sorts of things like that. So nothing goes to waste here. In fact, the papers you can see that I've got laid down on my table uh, that I wipe the roller on or I put some paint on, I can use that in collage later as well. So that's the start on the tags. Not much on there, but that will change. And I do like what I have left over after I've done a print with the step with the stencils. I call it a ghost print, but I'm not sure if I'm correct on that. A ghost print is where you've taken one pass and there's still some ink left. But this is slightly different. And I'm going to put some in my book. Let's get some colour down on those pages. Again, same as the tags, I'm just building up texture. Well, not texture, I'm building up colour at the moment. That's stuck down firmly. <laughs> there we go. And I love what I got on that tag. Look, I'll show you closely. Lots of lovely texture there, I love that. Uh, the paint is a bit too dry that's left on the plate, so I'm just going to try and get it off on this sheet of paper, scrap paper. That's it, it's nice and clean. And now I'm using, I think it's a pale blue. That's some um, anti-slip mat. And now I'm using some of my cutouts. I'd love the results to get with those. Very Matisse-like. Uh, this is the chromium oxide green and it's mixed a bit with the blue so the colour is a bit more subdued. What I tend to do is um, I go do some dark colours and I do some light colours on top then I switch to dark colours again so I've got the different tones that show up quite well. This is the Thalo turquoise it's quite a dark colour. So I was doing tags and book at the same time there. <laughs> There's a little bit there I'll get to put on the book and on that page as well. Now it's beginning to build up in the book and the tags are beginning to build up now as well. 
Now I'm going in with some titanium white, but because I've got some of the um, phthalo turquoise on my roller, I've got this lovely, gorgeous, minty colour. It's pretty. And that's some string I'm using. I love this effect. Honestly, some of the simplest things are the best. Look, so nice. Love them. Sorry, that's a bit quick. Never mind. <laughs> That's a lovely colour. And I'm just doing this on another sheet of paper. A bit more titanium white. And it's uh, still got a hint of the mint green. But it's only a little bit. And this is another one of my homemade stencils. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I like that. Let's see if I can get some of that on the tags as well. Oh, yes. I love those. I do find it difficult to do a print without putting pink on, I tell you. <laughs> now I'm going with some ultramarine blue and it's a lovely transparent colour, this one. It is in most mediums, but I like it because it allows you to see what's behind. And just with the roller, I'm going to put a bit on the book pages as well. There some nice marks I'm working on both sides of the tags as you can see if you haven't seen my tag book uh, video I'll link it down below for you to check it out I love that little tag book I'm having lots of fun with it it's something quite quick to work in whereas a double page spread can take me a lot longer Sometimes all I want to journal for that day is not a whole lot of writing. Sometimes just one word to sum up the day is enough or a short phrase. And that's why I like the little tag book. I can use it for that. Doing this has reminded me how in the summer I used plants from the garden on my jelly plates and I'm thinking I might go and do a bit of a nature walk and see what autumn brings that I can do some chilli plates printing with. So that'll happen soon. These tags are looking great. So pleased with those. They're nearly finished. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to concentrate. I'm going to get to a point where the tags are finished and I'm going to concentrate on the double page book spread. Am I saying that right? Yes. <laughs> this is some buff titanium. Doesn't show up too well against the blue, really. Now pure titanium white. Back with the ultramarine blue. As you can see, I'm going light to dark, light to dark. Oh, I'm using my homemade stencils, one of my favourite stencils, this one is. I do love it. These tags are nearly finished. Just using the roller with the paint cleaning off the plate and I'm using Naples yellow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm using this this stencil this stencil set that I used when I did my uh, watercolour birds and eggs paintings and I used it so I could stamp onto the birds and I put it with my small stencils and I love it on that page. So pleased with it. I'm going to do some smaller prints with the tags. They are very nearly finished. 
we're going to put those aside shortly let them dry and then get on with the book so here we are I'm um, getting a few collage pieces out um, I've laid a th few things out on the tables I might use I've got this lovely bit of collage here I want to pop on there I want to keep the birds but I'm thinking the orange of that against the blue is just lovely and I like the shape joining the two birds as if they're in a branch and then I've got this little bit of collage I thought of popping there or maybe a bit further over to the left on that page I've got some other pieces I don't think I'll use those but I'm going to use some words and I've, I've singled some out already and I'm going to use make time for creativity I was going to make a whole sentence of that but I decided just make time for creativity I was going to make but it didn't look right on the page I was going to write make time for creativity it's a necessity and a kind of magic but um, I decided just just use make time for creativity the words just looks a bit untidy on the page so I'm going to tidy those up and glue everything down now I'm just going to use print stick glue stick I'm going to put that on there it does go a bit onto that bird but that's okay I like to join things together anyway There, I love that like that. And I think before I glue these down, I want to do a little bit of journaling. So I'm just going to get my Uniball Signo white pen. I'm going to do some journaling in there. Just a little bit about my day today. It isn't meant to be read or anything. Because, do you know what? I remember things, what's happening and what I was listening to, just by looking at a page of art, a piece of artwork. That my memory comes back. So I don't really need words so much. Sometimes just the visual reminder is enough for me. But I do like the look of text as well. And it ties all those elements together. So that's the text. And now I'll glue these bits down now trying to figure out exactly where to put that I didn't want it right in the center of the page there I'm gonna pop it down there that's nice and the words I'm going to put on there so it's just going to say make time for creativity like that so I just need to glue those down I have to check I've got it straight. It's difficult to see when you're filming. The amount of times I've got things crooked because I'm think I'm not looking at it straight on. There. There, I'm very pleased with today's session. It's been a long one, but I've got these two pages done. I've got to zoom in so you can see it better. There we go. I love that. A little bit of thread hanging from the same, but that's okay. I like that. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.